Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEB Home School. I am Ashish Bishas, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 4. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 3 of half yearly examination. And today's HW number is 3 also. My dear student, our today's topic name, chapter 1. From chapter 1, we shall solve CBQ number 1 and CBQ number 2 as your CW. And CBQ 2 will be your SW. I hope you have understood. My dear student, you must do your assign SW in your SW copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So, my dear student, let us start our class. I have already written CBQ number 1 and 2 on the board. At first, we shall solve CBQ number 1. In order to solving CBQ number 1, at first, we make a plan. Or first of all, we read the question. 872931. That means it is written as 8,72,931 is a number. Question number 1. Write in odds of the above number. B number says show the place value of the number for each digit. That's why first of all we write this number in words. After that we show the place value of this uh, number of each digit. So first of all please notice A number question. Given that the number is number is 872931. Then we put here comma. At first we take three digits from right hand side, one, two, three, comma, then another comma, then we take comma after two digits from uh, right hand side. So now we easily read this number, 8,72,931. Now here we write in words. 87291 equal to 8 lakh Eight lakh seventy-two thousand nine hundred thirty-one. Okay, this is number A question. Okay, next we shall solve question number B. Okay, question number B is show the place value of the above number for each digit. First of all, you write given that given that the number is number is 8,72,931. Now, we show the place value. And we have already learned how to write place value from our previous classes. 931. Okay, no need to give here comma. This is in ones place. This is tens place. This is hundred place. This is thousand place. This is Ozuth place and this is Lark place. Okay. This is Lark place. Now, 1, 1 equal to then 3 tens equal to then 9 hundredths equal to then Two thousands equal to then seven ojuts equal to then eight lakhs equal to. Now, my dear student, at first we write one ones means one. We write here one. Then three tens that means 30 0 is written under 1 and 3 is written here okay 
900. So 0 is written here, here and 9 is written here. Now 2000. That means 3 0, 1 0, 2 0, 3 0 and 2 is written here. Now 7 ojuts. That means 70,000. So 4 0, 1 0 is written here, then here, then here and then here. And 7 is written here. Now 8 lakh. That means 5 0, 1 0, 2 0, 3 0, 4 0, 5 0 and rate is written here. So my dear student, this is the place value for each digit of the given number and this is CBQ number 1. I hope you have understood how to solve this. Dear student, when you appear at the examination, your question consists of just like this CBQ. Okay. So CBQ 1 or CBQ 2 or CBQ 3, some CBQ is given in your class. After that, from that CBQ you will be find your uh, questions paper. Okay. So CBQ number 2. CBQ number 2 at first we read the question. Given 6 digit 3, 9, 2, 5, 8 and 7. I repeat. 6 digit are 3, 9, 2, 5, 8 and 7. Okay. A number questions write the greatest number formed of the given digit. That means by using this 6 digit we shall find out the greatest number. Okay. Then what is the difference between the greatest and the smallest number formed of the given digit? My dear student, we have already find the greatest number in question number A. Now we find the smallest number by using this 6 digit. And after that, we find the difference of this greatest number and smallest number. Okay. C number show the place value of the number 36,958. So easy math. We have already uh, learned how to find out place value of this number okay similar as we shall solve this okay now a number solution given that six digits are three nine two five eight and seven we arrange the number in descending order. We arrange the number in descending order and we get the greatest number. I repeat, we arrange the number in descending order and we get the greatest number. So here right, so the greatest number will be, so the greatest number will be 98. 9, 8, 7, 5, 3, 2. And now we give here comma here and here. So it is written, read as 9,87,532. I hope you have understood. Now my dear student, question number B. What is the difference between the greatest and the smallest number formed of the given digit? Okay, B number question. From... A, we get the greatest number is 9,87,532. Okay. Next, we shall find out the smallest number. So, the smallest number, smallest number by using the above six digit above six digit above six digits will be my dear student we arrange the digit in ascending form and we get the smallest number here the smallest number is two so two write first then 3, then 5, then 7, then 8, then 9. So, after that we put comma. Now we read this number as 2,35,789. It is the smallest number. Now, we, my dear student, we find out the difference. So, here writing, so the difference is. So, the difference. 
equal to 9875332 minus 235789 okay now we do subtraction at first we do ones place subtraction it is 2 is which is smaller than 9 so we consider this is 12 if we subtract 9 from 12 then we get 3 okay carrying on that one is added with this 8 and it will be 9 and this time 3 is smaller than 9 so we consider this is 13 now we subtract 9 from 13 and we get 4 and that carrying on is added with this 8 this 7 that means it will be 8 now 15 now 5 5 is smaller than 8 so we consider this is 15 now we subtract 8 from 15 and we get 7 carrying on that one is added with this 5 and it will be 6 so 6 to 7 it will be 1 no carrying now we subtract 3 from 8 and we get 5 now we subtract 2 from 9 and we get 7 so 7 lakh 51743 is the answer of this question 7 lakh 51743 is the answer of this questions my dear student i hope you have understood now we shall solve question number c who is this show the place value of the number first of all we write given that the number is 36958 okay 36958 now we need to find out the place value Three six nine five eight. This is ones place. This is in tens place. This is in hundred place. This is thousand place, and this is in ozut place. So we write this eight ones, five tens, nine hundreds, then six thousands then three hundreds sorry three ozuts okay my dear student now eight ones mean eight written here then five tens means fifty five zero then nine hundred means zero zero nine then six thousand means six zero 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 then three ozut means thirty thousand okay so this is the answer of these questions my dear student i hope you have understood and this three num uh, two number cbq will be your hw also i hope you have understood question number one and two and you must do cbq2 as your cw okay my dear student i hope you have understood my today's lecture keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum